apparently the case has been dismissed, not in South Korea, but in Washington. Let's see what it has to say. Hello, friendos. Welcome back. Bro, uh, did he join a gang? He's wearing his hat backwards. What the fuck, man? It's late today when I'm recording this, so if I get some things wrong or misspeak a few times, you know, forgive me. Big news, though. Uh, for a couple reasons. Uh, Dark and Darker, obviously the one of the biggest games at the mm -hmm. moment in the West that would have been a way, way bigger game if it was allowed to release on Steam but was getting sued and DMCA'd uh -huh. by Nexon for allegations of essentially stealing the game. Uh, loads yes. of videos on this. You can go check those out. Basically, the... I still don't know how there isn't, like, a non-compete or something like that. How is there not one? I, 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 what the fuck do I know, right? But damn. Court case in the West, in Washington State, has been dismissed. This is not the hugest W ever, because obviously the case is still going to go uh -huh. on in Korea, and it does mean that some things aren't going to change, some things will. Okay. But it's also definitely not a loss. They've definitely fucking cracked this one here. The reason it was dismissed and why it's not a W in terms of are they right is that it was dismissed based on, as we went over last time, form non-convenience, which is essentially arguing this is not the convenient place to to go through this, right? Uh, do that shit in your own country, brother. You get the fuck out of here. We don't need this Korean bullshit over here. Get, get this out. We got to deal with the border. We got to deal with the guns. We don't got time for this shit. <laughs> These computer games. <laughs> oh, my God because obviously as we went through in the last video it's a korean company against uh -huh. a korean company right where yeah. all the servers are in korea and it does make sense right that it shouldn't be in washington it should be in korea and all the logs are in korean all the witnesses are korean yeah, yeah. and then you're suing them in washington yes yeah, uh, and obviously the reason why nexon did this is because dark and darker was going to release predominantly in the west no, on steam uh, yeah. they'd marketed most of the stuff to a western audience they're on steam steam's in washington right. and they argued basically the reason it should have been in washington was because uh when the dmca uh, went from nexon to uh steam based on dark and darker and, and they removed it at that point uh, basically how it works is you, as the person who's been notified against with the DMCA, you can counterclaim and say, this is wrong. And if you do that, you are essentially, according to Valve and Steam, entering into an agreement to have this legal situation resolved there. Now, what the yeah. court is obviously argued and... Which I bet is probably, like, I didn't even know if that was the case because my understanding is that if you can test something like that, you're not agreeing to have arbitration done by Steam or YouTube. You're agreeing to have arbitration done by a court. Like, that's my understanding. I could be wrong, but that's what I thought. Well, the court didn't need to argue. What the judge has said mm -hmm. is that regardless of this this should just be solved in a Korean court yeah, of law, which exactly. I think everybody can agree with at this point. I personally That's think logical. it's a shame that we didn't get to the point of discovery to find out who's right, who's wrong, and get to the bottom of stuff way quicker and not have to go digging through Korean stuff uh, in months when, when this actually comes to a head. But obviously, that's just for my own personal uh, wanting to know what happened fully, uh, as opposed mm -hmm. to, you know, the people that only care about the game coming out, which is understandable. The game is obviously currently out. You can download it, you can play it. But a lot of people aren't doing because they want it on Steam. Understandably yeah, so. Course. Everybody loves Steam. And they probably think if it's on Steam, it's a safer bet uh, that nothing bad's going to happen. Does this getting dismissed in the West, in this Washington court, mean that the DMCA is invalid and the game can come back on Steam? No, because it's still Steam's discretion as to whether to do it or not. And it opens Steam up to liability if Steam provides a platform to the game knowing that it's contentious. So I don't think it's going to come back to Steam. I, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. That, that's what I think. Fuck. 
Now, there's a couple problems with that. One, mm -hmm. I don't think that's the case uh, because obviously Valve will probably still be waiting to see what happens. Yeah, with they're going to the wait to see the court case. Still ongoing criminal and civil litigation in in Korea, right? Because it's still the same principle. Why would Valve care about this? Well, because if you are aware of something that is essentially copyright infringement, you are then exactly. potentially party to uh, things going on and may... Uh, and it's also not only are you aware of it, but because DMCA requires you to shoot first and ask questions later, you are required to remove it regardless of whether it was accurate or not. That's just the way the law is written. It shouldn't be written that way, but it is. Uh, come into problems later. Why would Valve risk that? It's what happens when you write the internet law in 1998. Maybe they will. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But, but I think what use. most likely happens is there is a hearing, I believe, at the end of August, so mm -hmm. this month or next month in Korea, where they're going to talk about injunctions because Nexon obviously wants injunctions on Dark and Darker right, on Iron Mace so that they can't make money and continue what they're calling damages because obviously from their perspective the money that the game makes the influence the you know the occupying space of dark and darker is constantly accruing damages because they say that the game has been stolen from them and shouldn't exist now obviously anyone which if they win is i would say true is it every single day that the gay is the every Every single day that the game is up, yes, it would just cause them to lose more money. Of course. Yeah. Who gets into business with Iron Mason Dark and Darker, potentially uh, people who buy the game. If this does all go Nexon's way, it yeah. could mean that the game goes away. All the money that they've earned is owed to Nexon or, or yes. something crazy like that. It would be. Uh, so obviously there's Logical. a lot of moving parts to this. If the injunction doesn't go in Nexon's favor, then essentially that could mean maybe the game comes to Steam. The issue... Yeah, with I think that if a U.S. court or the Korean court, either one, if they say it's good, because they're dismissing it. They're not saying that... Like, it seems like they're, they're not saying, like, oh, well, you know, it's it's wrong. They're just saying, well, figure this shit out in Korea. You know, this ain't my country, brother. Get the hell out of here. So I feel like as soon as they get any sort of actual legal deciding on this and ruling on it that's in court, then if, if Dark and Darker wins, it's probably going to come back to Steam. Is, of course, that they've already released the game on another platform sold copies on another platform and are working with another company so would they just be able to you know pick up and move to steam who knows uh, that's a question i guess they're gonna have to answer i haven't seen whether they have or not but it's a little bit more yeah. complicated than dmca was in west uh, west lawsuit is gone therefore dmca uh, is completely invalid and valve are going to reinstate the game now a lot of people that don't read into stuff mm -hmm. are going to see the headline of the lawsuit being dismissed and think that's it wow yeah. you know we that win. means nexon was wrong yeah. imas was 100 percent right there was no legal Apparently basis for this case. this is literally like a common thing that happens in law in general uh, people sue the wrong sub company or you know it's in the wrong jurisdiction this happens and it's nothing based on the merit of the actual case yeah it's just based yeah i think that's a very important component that this has nothing to do with actually who's right at all it's simply jurisdiction on where the case is being argued one thing that people obviously don't take into account when thinking about law things, the court has a finite amount of space and time. And, and by the way, yeah, somebody brings this up in chat. Do you think Dark and Darker devs could sue Nexon for lost revenue? I, not, I think not only can they, but they should. If Dark and Darker wins this, they should sue the fuck out of Nexon. Absolutely, because Nexon destroyed their reputation. Like, indirectly, they did. Because they got them shut down off of Steam, they made the game seem like a huge fucking scam, and then they tried to raise money, which damaged their public image, and they did that because Nexon was suing them for something that was not valid. They should 100% fucking sue them. Now, I am, still of the, I am still of the mind that I think Nexon is going to win. I think they're going to win. I think the guys from Dark and Darker probably did some stuff they shouldn't have done. However... 
if that's not proven, then I'm fucking wrong. And Dark and Darker should sue the fuck out of him. And they don't like it being occupied by things that aren't relevant, or not even that it's not relevant, that could be argued somewhere else and it would be better served to be there because it's their problem and not ours. Mm -hmm. uh, especially they're going to take a negative approach to this and a negative outlook to this when it's a big company doing it yeah, for course. what they see as a reason to be doing it in that place rather than somewhere where they know they have the legal representation and right to uh, sue them in that other location. Mm -hmm. uh, the judge actually said this. They talk about in the in the document, which is here. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm not going to read it all to you. But essentially what the judge says is you had a, a clause within your contract that said any, you know, situation, which is totally normal in every company ever. Yeah. Uh, if something happens, it's going to be solved in this place. And it's said in Korea. Um, so obviously they're, they're saying in that contract yeah you agree to yeah the, yeah if things go wrong we're gonna take you to court or solve it in this in this court yeah. in this jurisdiction but then you decide to do it in the west and you're doing it for clear reasons and one of the reasons that nexon argued was about the evidentiary uh, gathering i think nexon just did it there because that would get them shut down on steam i don't think there's any other reason like, they can have whatever reason that they're going to put out publicly, but it's just so that we get shut, sh taken off of Steam. Let's be honest. In the U.S. being better than in Korea. So essentially they're saying it would be easier for us to discover mm -hmm. the truth of everything and prove that, that they did these bad things uh, here than it is there. But that's not the court's problem, is it? It doesn't mean that it should be in the West. Yeah. Uh, also, when talking about this, there is the chance for appeal. It, they have 30 days at this point to appeal this they probably will do because if you already put this much money into it you, you're not going to not do it by the way the damage that i think nexon did to dark and darker i think is probably between 15 to 50 million dollars if i sued nexon i would try to get 50 million dollars how so whenever you extrapolate the growth of the game and then you also build on top of that the monetization of the game that was added on top of it and then the fact that nexon was able to shut that down and take it off of the biggest marketplace a hundred it could be a hundred but like i personally think that like based off of the time i think 50 is reasonable right but still i would do 100 yeah do 100 settle for 50 sure it's a tremendous amount of money like, this game had, like, insane... Like, look at the uh, the graphs on this game. 69,000. Yeah, look at this, right? Like, the player base went up so fast. August, September, October. Look at that. It was a tremendous amount of growth. And uh, this one, obviously, not so much, right? But this is probably whenever it was getting shut down, too, as well. So keep that in mind. This game had over 100,000 players. So if you assume that... If you take this graph in like the most conservative estimate and you say that only how much was dark and darker to buy it because i i think that you had to like spend you like now you have to spend money to buy the game right it's 35 dollars 35 times let's say if you have a hundred thousand concurrent people that means you probably have about three million people that are that are buying it right somewhere around there Three, let, let's say three million. Well, actually, let's do two million because it makes it easier. That's seventy million dollars. That's seventy million dollars raw, just playing the game. Now, obviously, uh, you know that that money would have been spent on server, like uh, server costs and everything. So it would not have been exactly seventy million that they would have made, right? That that would be their revenue, not their profit. But that's the kind of money that we're talking about. Yeah, that's raw gold farming. There you go. Big fucking money. And if Nexon did this to them, and they can prove that Nexon acted in the wrong, Nexon owes them a 9 or a 10 figure salary. Or payout, whatever you want to call it. They absolutely do. You're basically assuming everyone who went to Steam wouldn't rebuy it, though? I don't know what that means. What's the amount of harm that did to the company's brand would be a lot? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I definitely have to get a portion of the brand. Yeah, yeah. I, I again, I, I think I would, I would value the damage between twenty to one hundred. Sorry, twenty to fifty million dollars. But again, like you're, you're talking about theoreticals as well. 
and basically they're just going to be able to look at what the judge said argue against it try and bolster their points and there's a possibility uh, that it gets it gets revived basically so you'll not really see anything happening even if something was to happen based on the dmc and coming back to steam uh, for the next 30 plus days what because they're probably not going to do the uh, actually file the appeal until the last minute basically because that's just how this stuff typically works so it seems like in the next sort of 30 45 60 days we're going to get at least some more stuff related to dark and darker iron mace and iron mace next on the battle for uh the supremacy of the dark and darker type game um and that's because obviously we've got the you want to hear something that surprises me a lot i'm actually really surprised that we haven't seen a lot of clones of dark and darker come out I feel like by now we probably should have seen more of them. The injunction hearing coming up, which will be within the next month or so. And then, of course, what goes on with the appeal, which will be very public as soon as it happens. So, good news and really bad, bad news, ones. I guess, yeah. both at the same time. Uh, bad news if you want to know what happened and get to all the facts and all the juicy information. To be fair, by the way... Um, for the first OTK Games Expo, Dark and Darker actually submitted to the OTK Games Expo, and we didn't pick it. And people were memeing on Tips, and Tips was like, he had enough. He was like, listen, the game looked like shit. It looked even worse than it does now. It wasn't a good game. You would have agreed with me. I'm not wrong. <laughs> Just so mad and he probably was right to be fair but yeah we would have uh we would have been showcasing dark and darker on the first otk games expo but the first thing that they had sent to us was uh really kind of uh low quality that i definitely wanted to see that would and come it, out in discovery i don't I even say low quality it was very early in development because it, it, low quality implies fault i don't think it was their fault that it was low quality it was early in development and good news if you're wanting the game to continue being playable, nothing crazy going on, and the potential for Iron Mace to just continue operating the game forever and all this to go away. Mm -hmm. I know absolutely nothing about the Korean legal system, yeah. especially when it comes to civil matters. I don't even know where I'd go to find that information. It's something I'll have to look into, especially since, again, we'll be getting uh, some news pretty soon. But I will keep you up to date as mm -hmm. soon as I find anything, as soon as I see anything, as soon as uh, there's any more details on the case. And that's probably it for this one. Holy so thanks shit, for watching man. and see you next time. Peace. There it is. Holy fuck. Well, I mean, like, I, again, I don't think this is a W or an L. I think, again, it's just a, uh, you know, not wrong time, wrong place. You know, that's really it. Uh, you done brought, bring negative. You all you've done is bring negativity to the D&D community. So thank God you didn't. I think that everything that I've said has been completely fair. I have not been biased about this in any way. I caught so much shit whenever this came out, and I didn't immediately side with Dark and Darker. I also promoted the game very early on, on not only my stream, but also my YouTube. I had a great time playing it. I even played it on my main stream. I don't want to hear about this shit, okay? Did I do as much for the game as I think XQC or Soda did? I don't think I did. They played it way more than I did. XUC played it earlier than me. So I'm not trying to, you know, it's not a pissing match here. But I feel like I, I, I promoted the game. I supported the game. I support the game even now. I, I think it's a great game. Like, there's nothing wrong with the game. Fuck. What do you want me to say? Either way, I hope the game turns out to, uh, to be okay. Uh, despite, you know, any of the other legal stuff. I think here's really the truth. The players don't really care about this lawsuit. Nobody gives a fuck. People just want to play the game, and that's it. Yeah, everything else besides that is all just a, uh, a waste of time and uh, a waste of energy. People don't give a fuck about that at all.